I'm Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel, ZZR Time. Um, tape measure in my hand. This has been lowered. Okay, oddly enough, the suspension on these, the arms are longer. You'd think in your head that with a big bike or any bike, when you shorten the suspension so it goes lower, you think you have smaller, but they don't. They actually extend, which makes the suspension go further down, bringing the wheel up. That's how it works. Now, when I wrote this home, didn't feel right. Now, my feet were flat on the floor. I'm going to take them off and put them back to original. I'm going to show you where they are and show you what they look like. And I don't really like them on here. I did my trophy, 1215. Lowered that and that felt so much better. But this doesn't feel right to me. So, we're going to measure the seat height now. Change them over and then measure the seat height again. And my feet will be flat on the floor and then see how much they are up. Now, I've looked at them. We're going to have a look in a minute. They're not much difference. So, let's quickly have a look under the bike. Now obviously I want to get on with the service, but I'm going to take all the panels off, drain the waters out and change all the fluids. I've got to wait for them to get delivered and I'll get itchy feet, so I think I might have to do something. So this is what I'm doing now. So let's have a quick look underneath. So these are the originals, and these are the ones they've changed them to. Now, I don't know what that's about, where that's caught or, or what's happened there. I don't particularly like the bolts, and there's an adjustment on here. So actually you could have pulled these, that's further out isn't it so there was adjustment here as well but I'm gonna go back to these ones I'm gonna clean them all up I'm gonna take these off and uh, put them back but you see what I'm saying it actually lengthens it if so I put that there it actually goes up so these ones can actually make the bike higher as well as lower so they're fully adjustable not too bad so if you're a short rider or a tall rider there's an adjustment so why don't I want them I wonder how that happened there it's a bit odd so let's get this big old girl off of the stand. So, things I don't like when you lower a bike. Side stand. I'm going to show you the front of the bike. I was at the garage and I put this on the side stand for a lot of fuel and I was like, whoa, it, it didn't feel right. This is on soft carpet, but I mean, it was like that. I thought, oh, it's going to go, you know. That's, that, that is not a lot. Strong wind, I know you turn them over, but... Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's just measure the seat height. So, it's about 29. Let me just get a. Measuring this, the seat height, I would say under here is just under 29 and a half. I'm about a 30 leg, so let's just see how my feet are on this bike. My feet are completely flat on the floor. And in fact, I'm not saying I could let the bike run through at all but that should actually be quite nice for me. And yet it didn't feel right. I think it's more so at the garage I put on the stand, it didn't, it didn't, wanna, it didn't wanna go over. It felt quite, quite, look, there's me standing on the bike and there's the bike on the stand. Do you know, that's just, and pump the tires up. Hmm, and I'm on carpet. Maybe the tires caused it, do you reckon it may have? Yeah, obviously the tires are lower. Let's get some air in these bloody tyres and then see what it's like then. I mean, officially, this should be suit me really well. Strange. Get some air in the tyres. So I had 18 in the front, 17, 18, and 21-ish in the back. So I'll put in 34 and 38. I will check divisional specs. But at least now, that's pumped up to where it should be. Let's put this back. Everyone needs a compressor. Right, let's see what it's looking like now. Not bad. Does feel better. I have to say. Hmm. I'm puzzled now what to do. I had to get used to having my legs up higher because 
obviously on the uh, Triumph Tiger they just dangle, don't they? And it's much lower. So that felt a bit odd for my hips as well, getting old. Um, this feels better. But the lean, I know I'm on fluffy carpet, but the lean still isn't all that, you know. Let's see what it measures at now. So I would have said it was 29 and a quarter, now it is 29 and a half. So it has raised it ever slightly. I mean, it's such a simple job. Just two bolts like I showed you. So I'm going to take it off and then see what it's like with the original ones back on. <laughs> Just wanted to show you, I can get on the stand. It's not a He-Man thing, believe you me, but it's difficult. <laughs> So obviously you need to go bolt to bolt. I'm not too impressed with these, they're very lightweight. Um, maybe that's a stand, I'm gonna have a check out what was catching. But if we put these together, can you see? This had adjustment, as I said, to go taller, so it would have raised the back up. It'd be quite fun. Do it with Don't think you're gonna do it with a bike that weighs like 200 odd kilos. Anyway, there's the tops, bang on. So there's the bottom. So you can see this this would have been in here. So I could have just adjusted these, but I'm going to put the original ones back in. Um, just to measure what sizes this was. So uh, it's obviously a lowering and a jack-up kit. I'll set them that way actually, because I don't want them. So if we go to the middle of each bolt, that was 20 centimetres. And this one is 18. So I added two centimetres. Two centimetres. That's not bad, is it? Middle of bolt. So there's the middle bolt to bolt is 20, and there's middle bolt to bolt is 18. But say, these adjustments had 18 right up to 16. So that would have raised this bike by another two centimeters up. Oh, that'd be quite tall, wouldn't it? Not for my short legs. Right, I'm gonna clean them up just because I want to, um, and put them back on and see what the ride height's like then. Um, yeah, I sort of wish I could tell you why. <laughs> why I've just sprayed them up and cleaned these bolts. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I just think while they're off, quick clean. I'm gonna obviously uh, clean these up as well. A bit of lock tight in these ones. Um, spray them all up and put the bolts on. But yeah, I've just um, cleaned them all up and used the hammerite spray and uh, I'll put them on. Top tip, chop the back wheel. Okay, puts up, makes it a lot easier if it drops down. No, it's, it's just a, an extra weight you don't need on a bike. So chop the back wheel before you take them off. Such a simple job though. Just chained them. And I measured the seat height. These work out two centimeters, one and a half inches. So two and a half, this seat height now is 31 off the stand. So this little gadget would have, from standard, minus inch and a half and gained inch and a half. Two centimetres, inch and a half. So this could come up to 32 and a half. That'd be quite nice for a tall rider. For me, let's have a look. Where am I now? Um, my feet, no, not flat. So ball of my foot, let's put back centimetre either side. I feel good on one side though. And here's the test. Oh, look at that. You know, that was somewhere up here. In a strong wind, this would have blown over 100%. So now I'm a lot, lot happier with it. And what's it gonna be like getting on the stand now? <laughs> that's really, really easy. I mean, inch and a half, that's quite a lot. And the back wheel, do you remember my first video? Look. Well, I could put my whole hand there before. That's a massive difference to the back wheel. I think you should hand a lot better as well. Ooh. 14.99 Lidl's. Absolutely amazing. Waterproof. I don't like the blue, red flashing blue. I don't like the red flashing light, but uh, brilliant. Comes walled up to chargers. Lidl's. Go buy one. They're brilliant. So that's a clear result. I don't know if I'll keep these or not. Now, the old ones, the original ones, do have a set wear going on, same as these do. There's not the same shape to them, but when you put them on, you realize they only go one way. 
and the small bolt and big bolt only go on one way as well. So don't panic you take them off. I've cleaned it all up, quickly show you underneath. My dirty hands on the old uh, paint, I probably didn't let it dry. I'm gonna clean all this up anyway while I'm under here doing the service. The chain's always gonna be baggy when it's on the stand. Take it off, we have to adjust it. Done videos about this before, nice and easy adjustment. Also, oddly enough, it's got the rack pillion things. So, uh, for the stands. But it's got a centre stand, so I don't know why they're there. But I've got a couple up there anyway. So, uh, I could, I could uh, put them on there. The exhaust on here we used to take off as well. Literally just these bolts here. You see what I'm saying though, the telltale signs of where it normally had an accident. They're not anywhere under here. So there you go, that has been fun. I quite enjoyed it actually. Um, I feel much better riding it with proper inflated tyres and I feel better knowing it's back to its original ride height. Even though I'm a short arse, I still feel good with these. Um, my hips felt funny for this sitting up this way. Normally my legs dangle from that one. <laughs> but this, oh, I, I do like it. I had a load of comments, hello. You knocked it up, she does this. She knocks her over and then woofs it. Had some comments, someone said it's ugly, not very sexy, etc. It's your own. Do you know, I have to say that. Um, everybody finds one bike sexy, and like women, <laughs> like men and women, isn't it, you know? <laughs> Careful there. Um, different horses, different courses, you know? I have my Triumphs, you look on my channel, I've had loads and loads of bikes, but I just, I do like these. I think it's the scariness of the power if you need it, the way to handle. Um, they do storm along. Same as the TL Thousands, they're twins. I didn't like that. People rave on about them. I didn't like it. Not then again, I'm still hanging towards the roundabout at a ridiculous speed, and you really have to break heavy on them. These four in lines, they pull you back. I like changing down gears. Try to rock it. Go in a straight line, come to bend, and it's just hang on for dear life and hope you can get round it. Same as the VN 1600s, XVSs, you're sitting back here somewhere. You know, different style of riding, isn't it? Anyway, back to these bars. <laughs> Listen, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. I hope this has been helpful for anybody that wants to lower their bike. If you've got to do it, you've got to do it. But then I suggest you've got to do something, obviously with the side stand. Whether you can bend them out, probably not. Um, sand them down a little bit, I don't know. But definitely this bike would have fallen over, especially in the winds we've had recently. And of course, as I said before, I'll park my bike outside and when I'm at work, obviously, it's compound. Um, and no one would have got this on the centre stand, and I suppose it could be quite challenging every day getting this on the centre stand, that I could do it. But now, nah, centre stand, happy days. Take care of us on the road, thank you so much for liking, please like, share and subscribe, and check out my next video for the full service of this bike. Panels completely off. Every panel off, I wanna check them all out, I wanna um, hammer it, all the brackets underneath it, and then we're gonna do a full service on this, and then get everything back on again, clean her, and then you get to see how yummy she is. Remember to charge your battery when you get all this off because it just makes sense giving it a booster charge. Bye bye.